everyone and welcome to my channel. I am the Rat Crusader and I will be doing my first video today. And my first video is basically going to be about my my first Rat Regan who passed away last January almost two years ago. Which is very disappointing to me to talk about it now. So I hope you enjoy this video. Well, I got Regan when she was about six weeks old. I got her at my local pet store. She was from a feeder bin. Since I was looking for fancies at the pet store, but it turns out they didn't have any fancies at that time. But they did have this female feeder who seemed to have babies six weeks before I got Regan. And so I decided that I would get one of the females from there. And there was only three of them left, and both of them were both male. So, Reagan was the only female that was there, so I had to take her, not by choice, but kind of on purpose. Like, I actually had no choice but to take her because I didn't want male rats. And so, when I took Reagan home, she was super tiny, and she just sat in this little bird cage that I had. And she was also kind of nervous at the time, too. Like, she would sit on my shoulder, like, she actually, like, loved the shoulders. But she, like, never wanted to, like, lick anything off my hands. Like, I gave her some wet stuff for her to try. I gave her some food. She didn't bother to try anything. But then about a few weeks into that, um, I started building a little area for um, her in my bedroom. And so I put, I had these little tubes here. They were, like, really, really long, and I thought she would like those. She did like them for a little bit. I was also trying to clicker train her to come to me every time I clicked the clicker, which didn't turn out so well, so I decided that I would give up on training Reagan, which was very sad. And then a few months after that, I built a playpen for her, and the playpen was pretty large. It was probably about, uh, like, six feet wide and two feet long, and so... Yeah, Reagan actually really liked this playpen, although she had one problem. She liked to try to escape. Like, she would actually chew the corners of the playpen. I thought it was kind of very annoying, so I kept trying to find ways to block her from trying to get out of the playpen. And so, yeah, she would do that every time I took her out. And then one day, and when I got home on July 23rd, 2000. 17, I noticed that, um, Reagan was sitting in her cage, just like she normally does, and I had brought home another rat, and this rat is one of my current rats named Riley, she is a Dumbo rat, and she's, she was actually very nervous as well at that time, although this rat was three weeks younger than Reagan was when I first got her. So she was even smaller than baby Reagan, as you can probably see in that picture. When I do my video of, of Riley, which is the name I named that other rat, you'll see her as a baby, and she looks way smaller than Reagan did. And so I tried to introduce them. Reagan started being aggressive and actually scratched poor baby Riley's little nose and could have killed her, which we didn't really notice at the time because... I was still kind of new to rats, and I didn't know, like, how they would react to another rat. I just thought, just because they were both female. And so we waited till Riley got about six weeks old, and then we started introducing them inside their playpen first. They were scuffling around, tackling each other, fighting each other, doing all kinds of different things. And pretty soon, they, Reagan kind of warmed up to Riley, and Riley warmed up to Reagan, and... Pretty soon, when I started putting them back in their cage, they started cuddling together. And a few months after that, they were all fine together. They were having fun in their playpen. They were having fun all the time. And then, around the, the same time, around four months before Reagan died, which was September of 2017, I noticed that um, Reagan started feeling ill, like... She was sneezing a lot more than usual. She was starting to do some stuff that I've never seen her do before. And, like, 
She started getting all this porphyrin, like, coming out of her nose and her eyes and seeing the fur. And she was, like, all puffy all the time and walking very slow with her eyes squinting. And I noticed, oh, she might be getting old because feeder rats, they don't live as long as fancies do. Fancies live about two years to three years, while Reagan only lived for about a year since she was a feeder rat. So when I noticed she was ill, like, I was, like, talking to my local vet, trying to get her to help my rat, but it didn't seem like it was working. And so, really, I couldn't really do anything. I gave Reagan this little, like, fruity-type drink. That helped her. She could have died, like, two months after she got ill at the first time, but... I gave her the drink, and the drink made her live longer, which I was very happy. But then one day, when I got up in the morning, I noticed Reagan was, like, walking and falling over and, like, flopping around on the cage ground, like, flaring. And Riley was just, like, standing there in horror, just, like, watching her. And I was, like, freaked out. And, like, I take Reagan out of the cage very slowly. I put her down on the carpet. She starts walking, and then she keeps flopping up and down. She starts walking again, and she keeps doing it all over and over again. And I'm like, oh my gosh, she's like having seizures as she's walking. And so, eventually, that afternoon, when I, when, um, I last saw her, that's when I noticed she started sleeping earlier that day, and she ended up passing away in her sleep. I knew she passed away because she wasn't breathing and she wasn't moving at all. Like she usually does when she sleeps. She's kind of twitching around and stuff. And so I went outside and I found this little rock here in my backyard. And it was a giant rock. I took one of my small green rocks that I had in my room for some reason. And I took it and I wrote Reagan on it. And then I wrapped Reagan in a rag and and dug a hole in the ground and placed her inside the rag in the hole. I covered up the hole and then I put the rock that said Reagan on it and that's where I had marked Reagan's grave. And yes, I still miss Reagan to this day. I really like her patterns. I really I really miss her since she was my very first rat. But then I got Heather and Heather's one of my current rats also and I still have my little Riley girl. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you next time on my other rats and my other videos. Bye!